NASA and SpaceX are preparing for Saturday's astronaut launch at Florida's Cape Canaveral. It's the first fully operational mission for the Crew Dragon spacecraft. The four astronauts on board will spend six months on the International Space Station. To talk more about the launch that is planned for tomorrow, we're bringing in Dan Amaranti, who's joined by a special guest this morning. Yeah, guys, good morning. I'm so excited about this, and uh, we can't wait. So joining us now is a U.S. Navy SEAL and a physician as well, and also an astronaut, a NASA astronaut. Uh, Dr. Johnny Kim is joining us live from Kennedy Space Center. Good morning, and uh, we'll start by talking about tomorrow's launch and why this is so important in space history. Tell us a little bit about that. Hey, good morning, Danny. Tomorrow's launch is uh, so it's important uh, for a lot of reasons. Um, the space shuttle, as you are probably aware, retired in 2011, and since then, America hasn't had a way to get our astronauts to space using American rocket from our soil. But all, that all changed earlier this year when Bob and Doug launched on the first test flight for, on a Falcon 9 rocket through SpaceX. They've gone to space, they've come back. Since then, NASA and SpaceX has certified the Crew Dragon for regular operations. So tomorrow's gonna be the first time we're going to have uh, four, um, two Americans, I'm sorry, uh, three Americans and a international partner fly to space on this newly certified vehicle to go to the space station. So we now have uh, kind of reclaimed our ability to launch to space using American assets. Yeah, and that crew you mentioned, once they get up to the space station, they're going to have a lot of work to do once they get up there. Can you give us just a little bit of an overview of what they'll be doing once they get up to the ISS? <laughs> yeah, time time is uh, expensive up there. We put our crews to work pretty quickly. They'll be doing a lot of research. As uh, um, for viewers who may not know, the space station is a national laboratory. And there's so much unique research that goes on there on a daily basis because there's really no other place to get microgravity or really just the lack of presence of any type of gravity. So the crew is going to be doing research, um, human research, drug research um, that is leveraging that microgravity. They're going to be growing radishes that may play an important part in the future as we go deeper into space and need to grow our own food. There is a new toilet on the space station. Of course, space, human space ex exploration involves humans. And so we have a new toilet there that's going to inform operations and let us know how we can uh, be able to use it as we go to the moon and Mars and beyond. All right, so we've talked about them, but let's talk about you for a second. At last check, you're awaiting flight assignment with NASA's Artemis program. Can you explain a little bit what Artemis is and why it's such an exciting thing? Yeah, so I, you know, I'm one of uh, really the entire astronaut corps that is uh, could be possibly supporting the Artemis mission. But Artemis, uh, for a little bit of Greek mythology, is the twin sister of Apollo, which of course is the name of the Apollo program that launched our American astronauts back in the 60s and 70s to the moon and back. We're going back there again, but this time we're there to stay. And so Artemis is going to bring the first woman and the next man back to the lunar surface, and it's gonna be a first part of a phased operation where we're having sustained presence there. And why do we wanna stay there? We wanna do research there, we wanna be able to leverage the resources on the moon for creating water, creating breathe, um, air to breathe, creating fuel so that we can go further to Mars and beyond. And just a quick fun question before we wrap things up. What's been the most intense part of your astronaut training or the most fun part? <laughs> God, it's hard. that's the hard thing is, is <laughs> choosing what is uh, the most fun. Oh, gosh, we do a lot of training that focuses on the importance of teamwork. We do it in, we have a giant pool called the Neutral Buoyancy Lab where we get to go in our spacesuits and kind of replicate the effects of microgravity in these spacesuits. And we have a basically a one-to-one -one scaled copy of the space station underwater. That's a really fun thing to do. It's very challenging. Uh, we also operate the T-38 jet as crewmates. And that is kind of a high stakes, fast paced operations that kind of keep keep us sharp um, as we go into space because space is a hard and dangerous business.
All right, awesome stuff. And uh, we look forward to seeing you in space at some point soon or maybe on the moon. Uh, definitely looking forward to that. So Dr. Johnny Kim, thank you so much for joining us. And as I said, we will hopefully see you in space pretty soon. Now, if those of you like at home would like to watch tomorrow's launch, it'll be live streamed on NASA's website, nasa.gov, and launch is scheduled for 7.49 p.m. on Saturday. Looking forward to it.